so it's going to be constant rain from about 2 o'clock onwards. Hello everyone, how are we going? As you can hear, the rain is absolutely pelting down on this tarp. This is a brand new tarp. So, in New Zealand we're all under level 4 lockdown due to the coronavirus. And we can't leave our properties, so I've resorted to setting up a bit of a camp in my backyard. I've got a bit of property to do it on. And the weather is awful, just how we like it. So we've got some yummy food, some new gear to test out, including a new sleeping bag, a tarp, some lights, and yeah, it's going to be a good overnight trip. So stick around if you enjoy rain camping and camping gear. Using these kings for things, that's all I got. Pull that right up. Right up to the top. Here we go. them warming up they're going to take about 20-25 minutes to get white hot and then we can chuck them in our barbecue which I'll show you in a minute get that up to temp and we'll chuck our pork in there it's going to be delicious I prepped it last night it's been um, salted in the fridge for 24 hours so it's going to get really nice crackling yeah, it's going to be a yummy snack haven't done one for some time Alright, so I better give you the grand tour anyway, so I've set everything up. Got a few trees in the property which I can um, tie the tarp up to. And it's just pegged down on the lawn, pretty straightforward. And I'm using the manga tent and the nature hike table and uh, chair. So I've got my new sleeping bag and this is from, I'll just turn the brightness up. So I've got a new sleeping bag to try out. This is from Nature Hike. They sent me this one and this is a duck down. This is rated to minus two degrees. So looking forward to having a sleep in that. And I've just got the old pushback inflatable mat there. Tried and tested, I know that works really good. All right, our coals are up to temp, so we'll get the barbecue heating up and we'll get this delicious pork in there. Coals in there. and hot. We'll heat that up. Get it nice sterilized and we'll chuck our pork in. Alright so is that in there? Can get out of there. Alright. This is all dehydrated. Sit that in there. There we go. Beauty. Right, so there's our pork. Just gonna sit that over the heat. We'll keep an eye on that. It's gonna be delicious. Oh, listen to the sizzle. Could have a look at that. Alright, 
don't know if you can hear that. The pork is sizzling away. Bit of a break in the rain, but the wind's hanging around. And I apologise for any background noises. I've had a helicopter and my neighbours bloody doing stuff in the garden. Anyway, let's have a look at the new camera. So this is the Canon M50 Mark II. So the reason I invested in this is because it's going to make my footage more cinematic and just much, much more professional looking. And uh, I've been needing one of these for many, for many since the beginning really. But um, it's kind of just been making do with my phone, which is filming now, which still does a pretty good job. So basically, I've got this external cage around it, which is a small rig cage. It's just sort of a protector cage, but basically... I'm not going to run into the full details of it, but yeah, it's got a screen which I can pop out and rotate. So when I'm filming myself or it's on the tripod, I can see what I'm filming. So that see with the phone, I can't do that unless it's in selfie mode. But um, yeah, so this is going to be a great new tool for the channel and it's going to make some epic footage, that's for sure. So I've got the Dutch oven heating up in the oven, heating up in the barbecue rather, and I'm just going to cut these into thin slices, just real thin, and I'm just going to make little homemade chips, just small little chips that fry up nice and easy. Here we go, there's all our chips, nice sort of even sizes, and they fry up nice in some oil in the Dutch oven. So that'll be heating up now, we'll go check on the food anyway. Alright, so I'm filming this with the new camera and you can already see how it's blurring the background out, just filming much better, so I'm really looking forward to playing with this camera. Still got a few things to get used to, but I'll just show you the rain now, so as you can see from about 2pm, it's about, uh, it's 12.30 right now, so from 2pm it starts raining and it gets heavier later in the night through the early hours so it's going to be constant rain from about two o'clock onwards so not far to go until that rain hits all right i think that meat's just about done in the chips so we'll go get that out serve it up and right on cue the rain is just starting to spit Delicious. Holy moly. Look at this. Look at our potato chips. It's just raw potato straight in the oil. Mm. 
Go and get some salt. Look at us. Bowl of chips, deep fried potato. Check this out. Check that out. That up there for you. Delicious. Mm. So good. is so tender. Mm. Something about crackling. So much flavour in it. The crunch. Mm. And lots of fun was happening because we were young. Just waiting for the heavy rain. Finishing off my pork. Beautiful crackling. My chips, they're good as well. And I'm just watching an episode of Clay Tool Stories. Here under the tarp. So, we're up there and we're cruising along and I see this turkey on the side of the road. I said to my girlfriend, turkey? Man, the last time I ate turkey was Christmas time of a family, when we were a family, back when I was like 10 years of age. It's wind. It's windy. There's a kayak up there under the lemon tree. We'll be getting back out on that soon. As you can see, there's no dinner left. It didn't last long. The pork actually shrunk, so it was only a small pork belly anyway, not a lot of meat on it really, just crackling and fat. Oh, it's sort of beer for tonight. Isn't it? Let me show you this is from. Good company. And that's a gin, gin and tonic. Had them in the fridge, can't go out and get them, so you get it from the supermarket. But I wasn't going to make a special trip during the lockdown. So. Cheers, everyone. You can hear that rain's really coming down now. So I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. Set up my gas cooker.
this. Now we'll cook him with this. new torch. This is the X-Tar R30 1200 lumen little mini hand torch. It's a very powerful little torch. We've got one, two, three, four settings. As you can see, super bright torch. Pretty awesome. Perfect amount of water there. Okay, so I showed you earlier the new headlamp light, hopefully you can hear me. It's a new headlamp light, so you can see it's pretty, pretty grumpy, it's not fully charged at the minute. Pretty good. So I'm going to be giving away one of these to a lucky subscriber. So all you've got to do is... So windy. All you have to do is comment headlamp in the comments and I'll choose a winner during the week. And yeah, I'll send one of these out to you. New Zealand is only please, so it's a bit difficult sending overseas at the moment, so yeah. First, let's go and check out the. Uh, let's go check out the new sleeping bag. See what that's like. They haven't even hopped in it yet.
so light and fluffy. You can already feel the warmth building with the duck down. I won't even have to use my sleeping bag on it. It's pretty cold. Alright everyone, I'm going to jump in the sleeping bag, I've got a book to read, and the rain to listen to, so it should be a pretty good night, that wind's pretty violent, so I've just gone around and tightened up the, the straps on the fly on the tarp, but yeah, if it comes down, it comes down, I'll be sweet in here anyway, so with that said, I'll see you all in the morning. It's going to be raining in the morning too. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do for breakfast. Maybe bacon and eggs. I've got some bacon and stuff, so maybe I'll use that up. It's been a great afternoon spending it with my subscribers. In my backyard, in the COVID lockdown. Making the most of the situation. See you in the morning. Into my nice new duck down sleeping bag. I'm very excited, it's going to be a nice warm sleep. Alright everyone, see you later. Good morning everyone, this sleeping bag is brilliant, so comfy, so warm, nice and fluffy, I love the duck down, it done a great job. Let's get up and make a hot drink. Alright, rain started up again. Get this hot drink going. The reason I sit on the plate is so when this gets hot, it doesn't melt through the mesh table. So if you're wondering why it's on a plate, that's why. So I've only got one camera, uh, one battery for this, so I need to get some more batteries. So I've charged it back up. I'm gonna play around with it.
is hot. Beauty. Right, time for bricky. That rain's just starting again. Bacon. There's an egg here somewhere. Maybe drop down there. Bacon egg toasted sandwich. dangerous all right get our bacon in Is my phone rig Samsung S10 Rode Video Micro and the Ulanzi phone clamp it's an aluminium clamp nice and strong and we've got a Inca tripod and here comes the rain Oh yeah, that's what I was going to talk about. I had a great, great sleep in the uh, new sleeping bag, duck down from Nature Hike. Awesome. So thank you, Nature Hike. I will do a proper review on my next trip when we're out of lockdown. It's a great sleeping bag. Right, ready for our bread to go in almost. Where was I? Yeah, I want to say a big thanks to Check NZ and Camp Fish Repeat for your donations during the live stream. My first ever live stream on the channel. It went really well. Lots of questions which I enjoy to answer. 
so yeah it was awesome and we'll try and do a couple of live streams a month I think maybe while I'm out and about if I've got reception and do it at camp or while I'm fishing or something but yeah it went, it went really well and also I've got two new members who joined my channel catch and reload and one other I forget who you are sorry bits of bacon get a couple of bits on there a bit of bread there we go the side of bacon delicious and on cue the rain's fallen doesn't that look tasty? Yum. Bacon egg sandwich. Oh, breakfast is served. Cheers everyone. It's delicious. I butter my bits of bread and put them butter side down the pan so it fries it up nice golden brown. Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful free range eggs from the chickens next door. Mm. <coughs> Last bit. Mm. It was so good. As I was saying before, new sleeping bag, awesome. You can be in there for five minutes, you can already feel the warmth circulating around your body. They've done a much better job, Nature Hike, on the zippers on these more expensive versions. The other ones zip like these zippers, they catch. They catch on the material. It's a pain. But it is a great tent. I'll keep using it. I can live with that. Mmm. Practice 
cook her away. Mm. So I actually got sent this cooker as well from a company called Lixada. It's a little foldable. Folds away. Quite cool. It's been a pretty good stove. I haven't had it long. Maybe a month. Got a little igniter on there. Packs away in the box. Pretty compact. All right. It's really coming down now. I'm not sure if you can hear me. I just got some really nice P roll on the camera. I'll roll that now. What do you reckon of that B-roll? That new camera is awesome. The Canon M50. You'll be seeing this on a lot more of my adventures. Almost all of them in fact. And as you can see it makes the quality of the content just more cinematic. This is an awesome little rig this thing. Yes, we better go over this. So, if you want to win a headlamp, it's one exactly like this. Showed you it last night. It's got three settings. Bam, bam, bam. Got a little rear light as well. If you want to win that, just comment headlamp in the comments, and I'll choose a winner. New Zealanders only, please. It's a bit hard sending stuff overseas at the moment. So, just comment headlamp in the comments, and I'll choose someone during the week. Good luck. Alright everyone, I'm going to start cleaning and packing up, it's been a good little overnighter in the backyard, it's helped me ease off my lockdown worries, hopefully it doesn't go on too much longer here in New Zealand, I'm keen to get back out into the wild.
Lots of fishing, lots of camping to be done. Lots more adventures. Lots more people to meet. More collabs. More gear to try out. It never ends. So thank you for coming along on this one. I'm going to start doing a thing at the end of my videos where I recommend a channel to go and check out. So starting today, go check out Backcountry Kiwi. Top bloke Zeb does awesome camping and bushcraft. Lots of stuff in the bush, so go check him out and give him a subscribe. Backcountry Kiwi. And don't forget to comment headlamp in the comments to win this little headlamp. Alright everyone, I'm going to pack up and we'll see you in the next adventure. Hopefully not in my backyard. See you later.